Here do I swear by mouth and hand, fealty and service to the crown and the kingdom of the West, to speak and to be silent, to come and to go, to strike and to spare, to do and to let be, in all matters as concern the kingdom and by the lawful command of the crown, in need or in plenty, in peace or in war, in living or in dying, from this moment henceforth to all your successors who are the rightful king and queen of the West, so do I swear, Mari Alexander, Lioness of the West. And this do we hear, nor fail to remember, and we for our part do swear fealty to you, Mari Alexander, to protect and defend you and all your household with all our power until we depart from our thrones and death take us out of the world in. So say we, Titus, King of the West. So also say we, Ellis, Queen of the West. <coughs> By what sword do you wish to be knighted? My own. My Zweihander. Thank you. Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> what name do you wish by what name do you wish to be knighted? Mari Alexander. I dubbed thee once, I dubbed thee twice, I dubbed thee night. <laughs> know now that you are made a knight, and you must aid the defenseless, seek justice to those of every station, and maintain the honor of knighthood. Let this blow remind you that knighthood shall bring you pain as well as honor. He's <laughs> 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 got a sword. Knight of the West. To you. Yeah. Rise, Sir Mari Alexander. Are there spurs? Their history? Yes, these spurs belong to Mari's grandfather, who was also a knight in his own way, for he was part of the posse for the governor of Nevada, and he was a knight, but of the old west. <laughs> <laughs> Wear these spurs as a token of your rank. Is there a chain? We started the line. This chain I have worn. Sworn fealty on many times. Wore sword fealty too many times on this chain. This came to me from Steen Halverson, actually. You can't buy this. <laughs> Not from anywhere. It's a mighty history. And this race reminds me. She said you can't buy this. I once read a story when it talked about paying the gold price for something for the iron price. Let this chain be a token of your fields. Is there a token? There is. <laughs> this token bearing the symbols of the pelican, the laurel, and the knight was bestowed onto me by Richard de Camville. A laurel, a knight, and a pelican. To me, a laurel, a knight, and a pelican. In many tales of King Arthur, Lancelot lays dying on the field, and Arthur is with him. 
as his life goes away. And Lancelot says, have I been a good knight to you, your majesty? And he says, oh yes, you have. You are what is best in all of us. I can think of no person that exemplifies what is best in all of us than Mark. I beg you to have it. we share the one we never will. <laughs> I'll be home for you guys. Is there a belt? There are two. This one was created by me with the aid and instruction of Mistress Astra Christiana Benedict and the aid of Countess Una Accordiana for Mari, for this occasion. It is my first weaving. <laughs> and I hope not your last. <laughs> yeah. Master Brock, Thank you. wear this sash as a reminder of those who love you. Thank you, Your Majesty. My Brock, you have stood by me as my consort for 16 years. <laughs> That's been great! <laughs> Good answer. Thank you for keeping the faith. And Always. we shall take the field again today. <laughs> This is the belt that I was knighted with, and it's the last remaining piece of regalia that I have from that ceremony. This was the fighting belt of Sir Kielsen Skyfire that I have kept against this day. And he rejoices with us. Order of chivalry, and do confirm her right to bear her arms by letters pertinent to wit, 